video today to talk about what we would do with a, a new puppy to the household. Uh, so you get an eight week old puppy, you've probably already booked him into the vet for his jabs uh, and, and you can't wait to get him out there and, and get him experiencing new things. So uh, you want to go for a walk, you want to take him out in the garden and, and it's cute and you film him and you, you show all your friends. What you're doing with that is you're teaching your puppy to entertain himself. You're teaching your puppy that there's a great big wide world out there away from me and there's loads and loads of nice smells and sights and sounds and you should go and experience them straight away. So the way I work, I want my puppy to think there is nothing in the world beyond me. And there's no great outdoors, there's nothing else outside that's exciting and smells good and looks good. And so for that reason, I really try to limit the exposure which I give Fern to any other kind of distraction. So, she goes outside for a week with me, where I take her, when I tell her to have a wee, and then she comes back in. When she was a young pup, I used to carry her out and put her down and pick her up and carry her in. Now we go to a little bit of grass at the side of the house for a wee. She's seven months old. She's not learned how to walk on a lead properly yet. So I carry her there on a lead. I'll put her down. I'll tell her to have a wee. I'll pick her up and I'll bring her back. Um, and the purpose for that is not to teach any bad habits. I don't want the dog learning that something over there smells nice and I can pull to go and, and uh, get at it. I don't want Fern to learn that when I go out the door, there's something really, really smelly and exciting and interesting over there. I want the dog to think that there's nothing in the world beyond what's around my feet. So I really limit the distractions. I don't let her go and experience new things. Um, she will do eventually, but she will learn that yes, those things are there, but my dad's where it's at and I'll stay with my dad. I can, oh, that smells good. Where's my dad, where's my dad? Oh, look at that dog over there, where's my dad, where's my dad? That's what I want in her mind. What were you doing there, Nick? What were you doing there? Um, so, the first thing people can't wait for, and it, it turns into a big family trip, is the first dog, the first walk out after the jobs. Um, now, if you look at my plate in my YouTube, there's a video on there somewhere about Fern's first walk. Just because a dog can go for a walk, doesn't mean a dog should go for a walk. Um, she'd had a jabs, and I filmed her first walk, it was in the house. She didn't go out for months and months. When she does go out, I control everything. I put her down where I want her to go, and I pick her up again. If somebody is coming past, I'll get the dog's attention, and I'll get the dog hunting around my feet, so that the dog learns that when people come past, there's something good to be experienced by my dad. When people come past with a dog, I don't want the, my, I don't want Fern looking at that going, oh dog, let's go and play. Let's go and sniff each other's bums. I want the dog to go, oh, there's a dog there. Let's go and find something nice at my dad's feet. And um, so you really want to limit uh, exposure to any kind of distraction that isn't you to your dog. Now I know it's really, really exciting and everyone wants to get the dog out, out for a walk. But um, in the long run, it will really pay off if you don't do that. If you look at uh, professional dog handlers, so military or police or farmers or, or gun dog handlers, their dogs are in kennels or cages or they leave them in the truck until they want to use them. And that way the dog isn't entertaining itself. The dog has seen that handler as a source of entertainment and is really, really responsive to it, whereas he hasn't been condition that there are distractions everywhere so when you're bored go and play with that or go and play with that and um, so really 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 try and limit exposure to any kind of distractions not just in the first few weeks before the dog's allowed out but whilst the dog's allowed out as well um, and, and later down the line it will really pay off for you so give it a go stick at it be strong despite the fact that somebody else in your house might really want to take the dog out and uh, it really will pay off Thank you for watching me and Fern. Please give us a subscribe, a like, a share and comment below with anything you've got for us.